Hey, hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Ooh, I love this song. We're just queued up for some payload. I'm doing pretty well. I just had a milkshake, so I'm, <laughs> I'm in a great mood. <laughs> I had a milkshake with a heavy dose of lactose pills because I'm lactose intolerant. So we'll see how that all shakes out. No pun intended. That's really great to hear though, Drift. What are we gonna play? Let's. I, I kind of want to start off with some demo night. Warm up. Uh, uh. Oh, great. if I can't sneak up on some people. Oh gosh. I've never tried to destroy a sentry with the Highlander. I don't play much Demo Knight. But boy, does that not do a lot. Oh, stopped by the sniper. Oh. Finally set up some hotkeys for my crate opening, my normal one, might be right back. So I should be able to flip between them a little faster tonight. <laughs> I know I'd forget sometimes. How's it going tonight? I put uh, offering unboxing advice in the title if you have any questions about any crates. Happy to take some time to answer them tonight. 
I'm doing pretty well. I was just telling Drift I had a milkshake, so I'm feeling good about that. <laughs> nice little treat for a Friday night. Oh, he had a sticky trap there. No wonder he was peeking. Yeah, that's all that's all good lumber. How many those are both bots? Hey Mikey, how's it going? Oh, thanks for subbing, Lumber. Appreciate it. I couldn't do this channel if it wasn't for everyone who subscribed. So I, I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Very lucky that I get to share my my hobby with so many other people. Oh, just a hair too early. He had a question about a beard hat that you want to buy. But it's only in Strange for 13 and you have 24 cents. What's the... what's the item called? Just missing all my swings. <laughs> That's a good shot. Mikey says, love your content, really like the effort you put in, and I'm amazed by the amount of data you handle to know if it gives you a profit. Yeah, it took a while to get that going. Um, <laughs> I was kind of doing it on a crate-by-crate -crate basis on the ones that I thought might be profitable, and then I ended up doing every crate and every case and every war paint and every trade-up, and so now I've got a whole spreadsheet set up to track whatever I want. Um, I drink Pancreas asks, what do you use three keys on? I'll pull it up in a second, but I can find the most, uh, like the least risky, profitable crate. Because if you only open up three, you probably want one where you, like, get something some of the time. I need the, uh, Tide Turner. I forgot I have the, I, I have this. Um, yeah, let me look it up on my spreadsheet. So if I go everything and sort by chance to profit, the best one right now, well, 50, <laughs> 50 is a little expensive. Um, you could go for number 28, crate 28 has a... 45% chance. Let me pull it up. 28. 
Crate 28. Um, no, that's not the right overlay. This one. Crate 28. It's uh, got a bunch of things that are worth more than one key. So your chance to profit is 45%. And even if you miss, like the cost of opens 1.38 keys. So like you get something good no matter what. The only thing that's not good is a safe and sound and it comes up four and a half percent of the time. So <clears throat> it's not super profitable. It's only, you're only getting 0.02 keys each time. But I think Pangrace, if you want to open a few, that's uh, that's the way to go. Joey, you want to spend 30,000 on unboxing? You got to do, what's your favorite one? The Yeti, no, Abominable? Isn't that, isn't that your favorite one? <laughs> I don't know. Oof. Sorry, I'm behind on chat. Yeah, I like Joey's hidden spot videos too. Joey's great. An exceedingly rare special item. That means the unusual. Uh, you can't get the golden pan in a crate. Abominable is your life savings. Honestly, if you had $30,000, go open a bunch of crate 50. Because it's profitable if you can get it. You need a good, a good supply, but you can get some cool strangers out of that. Um, if you're being realistic though, you probably want to pick something that has good strange parts. Because those are consumable, so if you flood the market, eventually you'll get back. I'll get out of here. Um... The bread you're looking for in Unique is Cuban Bristle Crisis. I don't, I'm not familiar with that one. But you say it's only in Strange? Have you checked every site? Like, does the wiki says say it's only in Strange? Um, Mikey asked, do you use any program for all the statistics I use? Um, yeah, I use Google Sheets. <laughs> It's all one big spreadsheet, and I chop it up into OBS, and, uh, you know, <laughs> that's how I do it. It's nothing fancier than that. It's just a bunch of charts in Google Sheets. It's all built-in charts. My cat cannot be on my desk right now. You just use Steam Market. Oh, so that is tricky to get a unique one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm obligated to recommend my sponsor, Manco.Store. If you want to buy it for cash, you can probably pick it up for cheaper than the Steam Market. Um, Cuban Bristle Crisis. The Cuban Bristle Crisis is 29 cents on Manco.Store, American. Uh, I don't have any that I can trade right now, but if you have 29 cents American, uh, you can buy it on Manco.Store. And if you click the sponsored link in the description, that helps out. But I don't do a lot of trading unless it comes out of an unbox. Oh, look at that, Twisted Fire's got one for you. Okay, I, I probably should switch off Demo Knight next life. play something I'm good at. Mm. 
actually want to do some cheeky spy. We can sneak in behind them. Oh, I have your eternal reward on. That's not going to go so hot. Do I use Manco.store? Yeah, I use Manco.store. Unless you meant, does Twisted Fire X use this strange uh, Bristle Crisis? Uh, let's get Stabby's box opener. play soldier. Um, like he asks, is your career related to what you do on your channel? I'm a software developer um, and I have a full-time job for that um, and I do a little bit of data analysis um, and I'm dealing with like a site that has like millions of users so uh, that kind of amount of data is scary but I'm not uncomfortable with it. Um, so 100 crates with you know thousands of items not too scary for me. <laughs> I, I didn't start with all 1,000 at once. I uh, I uh, I just did one crate at a time. So if you look at some of the spreadsheets I link in my videos, um, th that's the kind of spreadsheet I started with, and then it just grew bigger and bigger, slowly over time. I'm currently in a heated discussion on blood scopes. Which war paint would you recommend getting? <laughs> oh, Joey, I love your blood scopes. If you can link me one that I can inspect in game, I'd love to show off what a blood scope is, because it's such a niche market that I don't think anybody knows what it is. War paints was a big thing to take on. I'll admit. and all my rockets. Time. Yeah, the war paints, there's like, what, 12 in a case? And then they each have a different wear. So it's like 60 war paints, or, you know, maybe even 100. Um, it's a lot. But I already had a, like, system that would keep track of trade-ups for, um... You're a spy. That would keep track of trade ups minus the war paint qualities. Um, so it was easy to add it on at the end. Switch to Pyro, then I know how to do. Joey, can you send me the link on Steam? I can't see it in uh, in YouTube chat. It blocks all the links. Let's inspect Joey's beautiful blood scope. So this is a blood scope, and it's when the like blood smears you get on your gun happen to line up with a, the scope on the front of the sniper rifle. Uh, so you have one. Is it 
would it be on both automatically or is that two blood scopes in one because you have one on the front and one on the back so joey collects blood scopes and you can have a cope scope if it's not entirely covering all of the scope if there's like a little teardrop of the original color underneath so um they're easy to find joey says but uh um yeah oh and if i i can look at it on other uh other war paints too so you can see it on a peppermint swirl or a pizza polished that's not a blood scope that's a tomato sauce scope um <laughs> we're getting spawn camped I will get back to chat in a second here when I die. Whoa! Um, Z opinion on Pizza Tower. I haven't played it yet, but I want to play it. It looks good. The animation style, the like MS Paint animation, looks phenomenal. Oh, there'd be a sentry in here. Oh, there's just an entire red team. Ouch, good stab. What are people talking about in chat? Whatever. Prices are low and demand is slow. That's a good place to be. <laughs> That's how I feel about Abominable, <laughs> to be honest. Prices are low and demand is low. Yeah, the market for unusual taunts and skins are a lot harder to find a seller for. Um, because they're not as common as, like, when there's one item without any grades. Cosmetics are way easier. Wow, you're flying, Spy. Oh, and he gets a stab. That was cool. can't push last with that much space to go. When was the last time I was scammed? I don't think I've been scammed. The closest I've been to scammed is coming back, I accidentally sent a bot um, a trade and I forgot to add a key. And so I lost a key because I thought it would make change for me and it didn't. Um, so <laughs> and then I messaged the, I posted on their wall, I'm like, hey, I traded your bot and like it owes me a key because I, I screwed up. Is there any chance you'd give me the key? And then I had like three scammers add me to be like, Hey, it's totally me, the person you messaged. Give Here's the thing, but you just have to vote for my esports team. <laughs> You've been scammed two times, both taking every item in your inventory. That's horrible lumber. Oh, I can't imagine losing your whole inventory. That's horrible. Wow, how much did you lose? I mean, it's your whole inventory, but did you lose like tens of dollars? Hundreds of dollars? These teams are a little unbalanced. Let's see if I can find a full game. Switch to Badwater. That sure looks like a bot. We can't kick anyways. One with a $400 strange circling bottle cap. And Aussie and a whole lot of stranges. Brutal. I'm really sorry. Joey scam proof because everything's untradeable. <laughs> and a hundred dollar lumber cap with disco beat down. Man, that's so sad. 
He worked hard for those, and then just to get him scammed? That sucks. I don't want to play in this lobby. There's only five people here. Let me find a better lobby. Yeah, there should be a Badwater game. Maybe Gold Rush? is a similarly low server. I like that guy's rocket launcher. Hey, Luki. Gosh, that's annoying. Nice. Oh, holy moly. Oh, I hit the pyro in front of him. Oh, launching me through the gate.
hop up here. <laughs> Buying at rock bottom does have its advantages, but it also has a disadvantage of it doesn't have to leave rock bottom. <laughs> it, c it can go to zero. <laughs> I hate getting stuck here. There we go. What? I've never go to zero. I mean, look at every crate that's been out since the game came out, and like, some of them are still like three cents. <laughs> They've been out for like 15 years. legislation could come out that bans loot boxes and then like they're just not openable anymore or something stupid. Maybe they'd force it open though if you if they're banning loot boxes, I don't know. Let's not imagine that scenario. <laughs> the oldest three cent cases I can find out. Give me one second. Sort by number. The oldest one is... What's cost? Okay, by... I think that's number 26? You have to look it up on Steam Community Market, but 26 and 27 are still pretty cheap. 29 is t pretty cheap. Uh, 44 is definitely 3 cents. So I think 44 is probably the true answer. Number 44 would be the oldest one that's 3 cents. Winter 2017 cosmetic cases, uh, well the warping case is really good, I don't know about the cosmetic case, I haven't looked into that. But those war paints are going to get more and more expensive as time goes on here. We're not really pushing out. Oh, see ya. He <laughs> killed him with fall damage.
Can I get that sentry up there? Not quite. I got wrangled. Telly. Yeah, that is why they're cheap, because there is nothing good out of it. I mean, what's good out of Abominable? Why would you open Abominable if there's other craces to, uh... Are you trying to further justify your investment? <laughs> Fair enough. Sentry, even right here. I gotta fix my telly. This isn't a good sentry spot. I want to be up there.
Nice. Look at abominable. What do I have abominable on here? Let's pull it up on the old crate tracker. I need the case one. Case opening. Case review. Is it gonna work? No, this is broken for cases right now. Oh! There we go. Uh, case overview. Well, it's not showing me the strangers. But, uh, yeah, expected value is losing 0.59 keys. So until. Items inside go up enough to bring the expected value up. No one's going to be opening these for a bit, I guess. Um, but it's at 0.39 keys, so... Neat. Oh, I guess, is that the cost to... Uh, hang on, that's the cost of the expensive key to 1.37. And then... No, my cost to open's wrong, because that should be... Oh no, that's... What? 1.37 plus the cost of the case, which is 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So my cost to open is way wrong. So you're losing a key every time you open it for now. So we still have a key of value to go up before it starts going up in price, I think. Well, maybe less. Well, yeah, I'm factoring in the angels. The unusuals only make up like 10% of the value or something. Like... Uh, I don't have a price... F well, no, I do. So the unusuals make up... Uh, a third of the value here. So 0.28 keys of Abominable is in the unusuals. With the big one being the War Eagle, I guess? Uh, but the unusuals are at like 13 to 20 keys. Yeah, other than the War Eagle, which is like 78 keys. At, at the, uh, the lower one. Unusuals are based off the seasonal ones. That's true. When it spikes for the holiday effects. That's something I hadn't considered. But what's the, what's the hat you want an unusual on? You have the War Eagle, Aztec Aggressor, Hunter in Darkness, Nuke, Shelmet, Classy Capper, and Pithy Professional. I don't know which one I'd want. But there's only seven unusual hats in there. Oh well, yeah, but what what holiday effect do you want on like which hat? Which hat do you want an effect on? It's only from the cases hats, right? I don't know why I just ran into a heavy. Could have been a little more conscious about that. It's the Hunter in Darkness. Okay, Hunter in Darkness looks pretty sweet. All class. Backwards hat. Alright. I see it. I'm buying into the... Uh, the abominable hype. all the medics. My favorite class is the Pyro. I have like 120 hours with it so far. The whole deal is about the nuke, the shelmet. Let me see. The nuke, the shelmet, the pithy professional, and the hunter in darkness. 
Okay, so three of the uh, mercenary and one commando. So, I mean, yeah, pretty good odds if you're trying to get those hats. Nice, scout's good. I'm at, what am I at? Not much. 100 hours as Pyro. But you've got 300 hours as Scout? Or you got more than that? Both Aussies were scatter guns. Oh, <laughs> you got one scammed and then you bought it again and then you got that other one scammed? That sucks, dude. Ooh, sucks for that soldier. Double reflect. That's two heavies. The world will see seen your abominable vision. I look forward to your um your payoffs on your abominals. Cause hopefully they do get big eventually. I now see the value in holding them. Don't know why I'm waiting for this. Wow, we got him pushed pretty far back. Can I make this angle? Nice. Why is there a medic up there? They have a tally up here? Hello, heavy. Hello, weather heavy. Outnumbered. Yeah, that's brutal when someone pretends to be a Valve employee. Can't trust what anybody says unless they're like... Like when you get a message from support on Steam, you know you got a message from Steam. It locks you out of everything. But they don't, they don't message you to tell you that they... Like you will be very locked out of your account if support needs to get a hold of you. The real tell is when they get back to you within minutes, instead of, like, days. Because <laughs> Steam support isn't fast. a trade ban on your account with your self-mates. That's awesome. Oh, there's a sentry there. I missed that.
I'm out of bots tonight. Oh, I hit a spy with that reflect. That was nuts. Okay, I need ammo. Sorry, Angie. Not so sneaky, Pyro. Key price going up 0.01. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It fluctuates depending on if there's a lot of sellers or a lot of buyers at the moment. Can't sweat the pennies. Got him. Yeah, those creepy crates seem cool, and I know that you just open them and then get nothing. <laughs> Bonk. Random crits, I'll take it. Random crits while I'm Ubered? Very fair, very balanced. Mission ends in 60 seconds. I know nothing about Counter Strike cases. So I have no clue what the Kato 14 is. Do I have any beards? No, unfortunately, I don't give out items on the stream. Mission ends 
Sticker capsules seem cool. <laughs> Stickers are like strange parts. Yeah, the salvage crates are the ones I think about with expensive crates. Alright, see you, Joey. Good chatting. No thanks, Lumber. the pyro hat it is rivarium irregularis it's from summer 2021 Hard carry good for an effect? I don't know. Oof. Good shot. Oh, it's a bot. <laughs> like gas passer. Isn't that the joke of gas passer? Isn't it supposed to be like a fart in a jar? <laughs> Not quite. Right to the face. Brutal. What are we... Okay, we're not gonna do camaraderie. <laughs> Tone it down, chat. <laughs>
Oof. Arrow. You have a level 69 vintage Jurati? I have a level 50 Jurati. Thank you, Source Engine. I have level 5, level 50, level 50. Oh no, the pan! Brutal. I'm top scoring, but I don't feel like I'm top scoring. Feels like a weird body. Nope. Super. What is this sentry? <laughs> what is going on with the sentry? It was in the ground. Sideways. <laughs> Pinage on the market crash from the 1950s or so? I got no idea. <laughs> Good question. What are the long term effects of the 1950s stock market crash on Team Fortress 2? Good shot. Where are you? You're invisible. Oh, good shot. Oh, it's a bot. <laughs> Best scout melee. It's gotta be the bad saber. But any of the fish are also good. Oof, tried to reflect that. His bow is named the Nat 20. It's got a D&D reference on it. I love it. Twenty-three on that soldier. Where's my Uber? <laughs> that was scary. Nice. Let's push the cart. Why is no one on the cart? I want to get a reflect on that guy. Almost. Almost. Let's get it, let's get it. Ah, not quite. A dead president's misc and a treasure trove hat. Call it the Finfluencer loadout. 
<laughs> I like that. I guess I can do that with my soldier stash a little bit. I don't have the full the full thing going on, but uh, stash and like put on the treasure. Look at that! I got a smoking bounty hat. If you do the bounty hat that has the coins, um, like it's open, it's got the coins, the coins will do the effect as well. So you get like a double unusual. Prepare yeah, come on Lumber, we're not gonna do that here. Seconds. Mental health is important to me. Neurodiversity is important to me, so we're not going to use uh, that word here. That was the self-destruct button. <laughs> I just put him in timeout for five minutes. Nothing serious. I don't like that it deletes the messages. Got him with the air shot. Five likes. <laughs> I don't know, pretty good. Gotta get those numbers up. If I had a chart for it, I bet it would go up really fast. That's what I gotta do. Live like chart. Six for five. Awesome. Thanks for the hype, Mince Raft. We'll see you around. Oh no! He was real. tonight. 
I might have to go play maybe Man vs. Machine or something. What do we think? I'm gonna go put a poll in the chat. Payload or MVM? What do we want to see? I'm up for either. Go on, Luke. Uh, not here, Lumber. Sorry. Your weapons are named that. Nope. You can go hang out with another streamer if you'd like. Thanks for being a fan, though. Okay, let's go do some MPM. There's 100% votes for it. We got... Aussie's coming up, maybe. Um, yeah, we're on the last one of the mission. Let's go hit it up. Some more trade up fodder. Thanks, Lumber. Appreciate it. just care a lot about neurodiversity and stuff like that is you know slur is too strong of a word but it's just not great terminology so I appreciate it if you don't use it here anything while we wait. I have some crates. 
Number 82? No? 45? I can get some from my bot. Where are my crates? I have no crates? Oh, they're all on my bot. Let's go steal them while we wait. Number 82? Get 25 of them. sending my offer. Here we go. Just need to confirm it. We're good to go. Still searching for a game though. Get it. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, and my match is ready. Probably need some more keys too. Let me grab some from my sponsor, Manco.store. It's up to $1.57 now. There's my trade offers. Sorry, it might notify a couple times here. Sorry. Give me the rest of my keys. That was only five. Did they get stuck? No, oh, they're gone. The offers are slow. Do I need to search for a new game? Okay. Here's my 25 keys and 25 crates. So we can do some unboxings when there's downtime. I'm just going to search for a new one here. I can't. Do you get banned from matchmaking if you quit? <laughs> Anyone else want to play? I'm using middleman, yep. And I got an iron curtain. Yeah, I love that gun. There's no penalty? You can call it dips all you want, man. <laughs> I've never got an Aussie before, so it, I've got super dips. 
I don't crack my toes. Why can't I move with the kick? Weird. I forgot to buy upgrades. No, I did buy upgrades. Is this the same lobby? <laughs> I just not paying attention? I'm not giving you an Aussie, dude. That's an impressive spot to kick. No medic, this will be fun. We have not only a low tour, but a no tour. So we'll see how spicy this gets. Oh, I did buy an iron curtain, or not an iron curtain, but a brass beast with a nice paint on it. I can show off. Yeah, no scout. It's a low tour lobby. I'm the second highest tour. <laughs> With eight. So this will be chaotic, I think. Do have the gas passer pyro though. Oh. Loose cannon, hybrid Zatachi is fun. That sounds fun. Some money, no. I have no way to kill 
Gas Pastor Pyro missed. Don't do it, Scouts. Did we get him? Not yet. Okay, don't miss this time. Oh, missed again. Oh, and the spy gets me. Not that I need it. Oh, let's get the money. Ouch. Just barely able to dodge the rockets. Nice. But we're not done yet. And get to an upgrade station. Quickly. Where's the money? Brutal. Blast, no bullets, a little bit of bullets. And I guess crits. Okay. If I die, I'll switch. Resistance applies as many crit resistance. Good to know.
engineer died. Yeah, I appreciate any of the tips here. Four cash on the ground though. Oh yeah, I don't ever take flame resistance. I don't know why. Gas pass are here to save the day. Oh, that might be it for me. Oh, staying alive. You got it down there, Heavy? Probably should have been peeking those. This heavy's having a time. This is their first tour. <laughs> I don't know. We're losing the gate. It's brutal. I don't know why I came all the way back here. That's not where our gate is. I'm like a lost heavy at the airport. another 53 brutal no bonus <laughs> the heavy is dead Be fine. Yeah, no bonuses. A little hard. It'll be okay.
Yeah, I definitely need the health on kill. Just don't have money for it quite yet. I'm liking the uh, Sentry Buster debate in the chat. How could you all die <laughs> we all died, uh oh. <laughs> this is not looking good. Let's get some health on kill. Okay. I thought I was far enough away. Okay. I thought I almost teleported into another one.
54 missing again? Good. I'm giving you a bonus. Brutal. Where are we missing all this money? And this is a consequence of not having scouts. Last bullet crits. Um, what else do we need? Health on kill. Do we want destroy projectiles? Maybe. Yeah, let's run it like that. What do you mean anything good? Any good items? No, we haven't dropped anything yet. We haven't opened anything yet. Okay, we're back downstairs.
Oh, crap. Three heavies. It's the way to go, I guess. <laughs> Here in Lotor, two cities. Three heavies and no scout. Any money up here? I'm low on ammo. Angie's dead. Gold Gibbous is just having the time down there. I know I should be hitting the big guy. But these little guys are annoying too. And they give me help on kill. Okay. You're missing credits down here. That's that's who's missing them. It's gold heavy killing things downstairs. <laughs> Brutal. I know I could kill Bind to get back faster, but sometimes it's about the journey, you know? Okay. Blast, crits, bullet. We have lots of credits. One firing speed. Health on kill. I'm just gonna run it like that. Maybe get some ammo. Yeah, let's unbox while we wait. Is that my right? Yeah. Ledger 82. Number one. Log. We'll do a second one. Pretty boy. I've had chat closed the whole time. Whoops. There we go. Alert. Another sentry box ahead of the 
Medic taken out. <laughs> okay, we'll get the money. Oh, that's a lot of soldiers. <laughs> We're probably losing this this risky. No, we didn't lose it. Sweet. I'm still on my normal view. Whoops. We got a demo. I don't think I've noticed them. Oof, that's a lot of crits. Probably should have been behind the medic wall. Let me hit somebody. Couldn't get the health on kill. Brutal. <laughs> That's how she goes on the low tours. Can I not destroy the sentry when the engine's behind it? There we go.
and the orange gibbous or yellow gibbous heavy just troops on. Oh, we missed a lot of money. <laughs> 91 missed. Brutal. It's last wave. We'll see if we can do it. Not jump height. <laughs> okay, firing speed, health on kill. Quite get more firing speed yet, so we'll just do ammo capacity. Okay, let's see how it goes. And then we get our drops. Sneak one more unbox in. Pretty boy's pocket pistol. And a cleaner's carbine. One more. Sweet. Strange cosmetic heart kills. That's worth six keys. That feels good. Not the medic. We just let a whole lot of bots back, I think. Yep. They got him. Great. Thank you, Doctor.
Very close to our loot. Nice. Let's see the loot. Eight and two. So I'm gonna guess that's not Australian because it needs to be more. We got a cleaner's carbine fabricator and a kill streak big earner. Yeah, ouch. Nothing great there. Yeah, nothing good on this tour. Someone got a cosmetic. Kill streak home wrecker and kick specialized kill streak air strike. Yikes. Not great. Just want to do some unboxings real quick. Just get a few out of the system. We'll do this row here. We'll do 10 of them here. That's a pretty boy's pocket pistol. Next one. Is a cleaner's carbine. Next one. Another cleaner's carbine. Another one. Strange part full health kills. Another one. Log. Uh, another one. Ooh, another cosmetic part kills. That's the big hit. That's another five keys of profit. Overall, in the last few streams, we're down 25 keys, though, which kind of sucks. Let's see if we can get some more. Number seven. Ooh, strange part headshot kills. Sweet. That's uh, two keys of profit. We're all on our way back up. <laughs> Number eight. Another cleaner's carbine. Number nine. Strange part full health kills. And last one for this moment. Another headshot kills. That's great to see. So over the past few streams, we're still down 23 keys. But I mean, we've got to open... What's that? Total cost is like 224. So that's like 200-ish crates. Um, feeling pretty good about that. <laughs> Okay, what do we want to do next? Do we want more MVM? Do we want more casual? I don't have another tour in me, but I could do maybe one more mission. Killstreak Big Earner. Is the Killstreak Big Earner worth anything? That is... Like a dollar. Yeah. Less than a dollar. Um, what do I want to do? I'll play some casual while I think. Oh. You know what I need? I need a break. We'll be right back. I'll grab some water. You can watch some random clips that, from my kill streaks that I've rendered out. 
I'll be back in five minutes, back for midnight Pacific.
Hey, I'm back. Okay. Let's flip my screen back when this clip ends. As a reminder, my streams are sponsored by Manco.store. The key price on their site is $1.57 US. If you're thinking about buying some keys for unboxings or tradings or, you know, you want to trade them for some MVM tickets, you can hit up the sponsored link in the description and any purchase you make helps support the channel. Okay, what are we going to do? Payload for now. We'll do some payload and we'll do some unboxings. Where's my crates? Come back to me. There we are. Full health kills. Log Stranger Fire. And Cleaner's Carbine. How many crates do we have left? Munition eighty two. Hmm. We have more, <laughs> I swear. I'm going to turn the music down a bit. Whoa, this is all bots. We'll find the new one. Easy peasy. little light but we got people connecting <laughs> sorry Angie Oh, we got bots. Brutal. Is this one gonna get kicked? We got one, two, on ours. We'll find a new one. Hard to find a lobby right now. It is midnight on the west coast. Mission begins in sixty seconds.
Can we find a bot-free lobby this late at night? We'll have to see. Yes, we can. This looks great. No, nope, Megatronic on the other team. We'll see if they can get kicked. Thank you, Medic. Couldn't quite escape. Let's go around the other way. Medic or the uh, sniper picked up a health pack and I didn't quite get him. It's alright. Get the medic. They popped. Ooh, I got sniped. That felt like a bot. Yep.
That was awkward. <laughs> the medic was calling spy. Just wasn't paying attention. the health. Thank you. Oh, medic dropped you, baby. Medic to the cart, damn you. Oh, I'm gonna die. That's sad. Let's get our help. Oh! Oh, I hit somebody. Okay, let's go back to spawn.
Okay, if we'll hang out in this lobby for a bit. Let's get a couple more unboxes. Wherever those are. We get a Fog Stranger Fire. That's worth half a key. And... Oops, I alt tapped. Another flog. We'll do one more before the map change. That's a cleaner's carbine. Nothing great. We're down 28 keys over the last few streams. What's my best unbox? Uh, Competition begins in six, six seconds. What's my best unbox? So far I think it's been the Smoking Tavish's Crown, but we did get a uh, Strange Geiger counter off a trade up, which is like 75 keys, I think. I've had some other good trade ups too. There's the... Strange dynamite abs. Oh, we can actually look at the chart. If I do my crate opening chart, you can see all the little purple and orange and yellow dots are all the uh, all the good ones I've got. So Strange Geiger counter was the last good one. That was in my last trade up video, I think. Maybe the one before that. Um, but you can see we've done 2,000 unboxes and trade-ups and we are at about break even we are in our lifetime let me look at the number we're down six keys so we're not doing too bad at all our expected value had it all gone to plan is closer to 320 keys so because we've missed some expensive unusuals and had some really unlucky uh, unboxes we're 320 keys lower than we should be but uh, that's that's all right. I'm not gonna go complain about being able to open uh, like 2,000 unboxes for free, essentially. <laughs> Mission begins in 30 seconds. Oh, sentry. Yeah, of course. Let's go take it out. That guy's got a cool power box. Power jack. Oh, we didn't even get the sentry. Brutal. 
I guess we don't need to. We can just go past it. Oh. That was a pretty good life. If you're enjoying the stream, always appreciate it if I get a like on the stream. We're at 8 viewers and 4 likes right now. So if we can double that like count, that's amazing. Sentry there, not gonna make any progress. Maybe go take over here. Whoa. Thank you, medic. Still gonna be blocked in by that sentry though. Oh, it's gone. Nope, right there. Whoa! Nice rocket jumping. Minecraft Pro 123 takes me out. <laughs> oh, congrats, Lols. I'm glad you're having success with the trade ups. Stuff like that happens when you take the best chances on uh, trade ups. So, I can't guarantee that you're going to get something good every time, but I can guarantee that you are, on average, getting something good every time. <laughs> I'm glad it worked out for you that time. reflected someone's baseball. That's not gonna do much. Oh, burning question. Yeah, that's not a good result. Medic, please. Oh, the sandwich. Okay, we need to push on that sentry. We need the demo to do something. I can kind of hit it from here. But not doing much. We need a soldier to do something. Or an Uber. I can wait for an Uber. Can I jump over there? Not quite. <laughs> Maybe not the time to experiment. We need a teleporter, that's what we need. When I die again, I'll go switch to NG. What's the least risky trade up? I don't have that off the top of my head. There was one in my uh, 
in my video the other day where it was all profitable. Zero risk, but there wasn't much supply on it, so probably not one that lasts. But I could find out. I don't think I can do it on stream, but if you leave a comment on the video, I can let you know. Because if it's in chat here, I'm going to forget it. But I can go pull that up in my spreadsheet. I think it's either the shooting star or capper one. Maybe. What if we just push the cart and the sentry can't see us? Does that work? Not quite. Right, I was going to be NG. Tully's going here for now. Got a Megatronic. Get out of here. No, the crit takes me out. Oh. Just got a pro metagun kit worth more than major majority of Aussies. Very nice. Way to go. Congrats. Hey, it's yours. You win. Spy. I heard a D cloak. I'm moving this. Let's get some more ammo. Got him.
Oh no, the Uber. At least our teleporter will help out. took my ammo. The crosshair is barely visible. It's fine on my screen. I think it's just the video compression. Part of it too is that um, I'm playing on an ultra wide and so the crosshair is a lot bigger for me than it is for you. Because um, I, I kind of shrink down the screen for 1080p. Oh, I've built, I've pushed my sentry into an Uber a few times. That's an awkward spot for that. Oh well. Yeah, this crosshair is not good for uh, for sniping, but it's okay for NG. I, pl I play with the dot on some of the other weapons. Oh yeah, you guys need your dispenser. Ah. Like I can make it... Uh, well, I won't zoom it in, but... My vertical resolution is 1440p, and so it's shrunk down to 1080p. So it gets a little blurry. Oh, I forgot my telly. See how it goes. Look at that, the Spencer doing work. Hunger King. <laughs> it's from Bug Snacks. Bungers. They're the sentient burgers. You're all right, Doc. And they have such a cute voice. It goes bunger, bunger, bunger.
Ooh. I thought I'd lose this entry for sure. Well, didn't lose this entry, but I lost it round. Let's do some unboxings while we wait. We have four left. Let's do them all here, and then this will be my last round. Got a pretty boy's pocket pistol. Cleaner's carbine. A flog. And last one for the stream. Mission begins in 30 seconds. A flog. Okay, so we lost probably five keys this stream. But we got to open 25 crates, so that was pretty good. Um, let me switch back. So we'll finish out the round, and then that'll be it for the stream tonight. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. Much appreciated. It's nice to have friends help you relax. Your whole inventory isn't even 28 keys. <laughs> yeah, it's the perks of, uh, of the financial situation I'm in that I can spend lots of money on keys like this. But overall, we're only down like 10 keys for our entire unboxings. The uh, trackers just for the last few streams. The uh, minus 30 keys, that is. One health. Reflect. No wombo combo. I got killed by the medic. I wasn't even looking. I didn't see where that demo landed. the roof. He finally finishes me with the shotgun. You are not a big fan of war paints, are you? I love war paints. Um, none of the war paint cases are profitable, um, but I've done some. I've done one video on war paint trade ups. I'm just starting to get into them, um, so I think I'd prefer war paint trade ups over war paint unboxings. But if I uh, if something changes, like I get a bigger sponsor, a sponsorship deal, or if I uh, you know have some some circumstances change, I'd love to uh, 
do some unprofitable unboxings. But for now, I'm just doing the profitable ones. War paints are boring. Then hat unboxings. I don't know, war paints could be fun. Getting the uh, factory new ones. It'd be nice if it told you, like, you didn't have to check the inventory to see if it was a factory new, though. You can kind of tell, but. I think if I did, like, a winter 2017 in war paint unboxing, some of those are, like, worth tons. Medic, please. Yeah, well, they're not super regular. They're, um, this one has a bunch of expensive killstreak parts on it. But, uh, yeah, I do want a war paint for my, um, for my, uh, power jack. Just haven't picked one yet. But the degreaser, it has a bug where the, the, uh, for some war paints, that tank is red for both teams. And I don't like that. So I'm just rocking vanilla for now. Oof. Okay, I pushed a little too hard. <laughs> There's five of them there. But I've got... What do I have on my other stuff? I mean, I have geometrical teams. I have an unusual on my soldier. Festifies Alpine Rocket Launcher. Um, what else? I don't know. I like war paints. I want to do a series on like war paints... Like, what are the best war paints for each weapon? Because you can get that data from backpack.tf's aggregator. You just filter it down to just the strange ones. You can see all the ones that, like, people applied strange paints to. And so that must be a good usage of it if they're, if they're applying it. <laughs> so, like, I found a good brass beast for my heavy. Uh, that way, team service ends up looking pretty good on the brass beast. I think. That Uber saved me. Okay, we're not gonna push too hard. Probably wanna get a reflect here. Okay, not enough health to support that plan. Whoa, hello, Scout. box looks unironically good with any war paint I know. <laughs> hey, I forgot I made a war paint. I'll show that in a second here. It's on the workshop and you can help vote for it. I advertised it in my earlier videos, but I haven't advertised it recently, so let's pull it up after this round's done. Auto balanced. Oh, brass beast. <laughs> Someone was saying that none of the war paints looked good on the brass beast the other night. <laughs> that they like vanilla the best. Hello, me.
Okay, that's it for the games, but let me bring out my war paint, because I'd love to show it off. Uh... Where's my components? Firefox. So this is my war paint here. Oh, let me turn off my Steam notifications one second. Um, these are my war paints here. Uh, so I call this one Team Fortress because it's supposed to look like Tetris. And so it's like a Tetris uh, kind of modern look to it. And it looks gorgeous on the black box. It looks okay on the rocket launcher. And uh, it comes out on the pistol when you slide it out here. So I think the black box looks the best on this. Just inspecting it, you get that like, glossy, like, um, how to say it. Oops, full screen doesn't work nicely. But it's supposed to look like one of those Pokemon cartridge labels, like the glossy like cartridge labels, because it's supposed to be for like a little Beat Boy cartridge. So um, I'll link that in the chat here if anybody wants to vote on it. That's always appreciated. I have no idea if Zestia liked it or not. But uh, so far, if I go to my profile, slash uh, letter Z. If I pull up my profile, it's got 1,400 ratings and it's got four stars. So I'm really proud of how that did. Thanks, Holden. So uh, yeah, if you like if you like how it looks, give it a vote yes on the workshop, and it's always appreciated. Helps me uh, get that into the game, maybe in a summer update. Who knows? Anyways, that's it for my uh, my stream tonight. Um, it was lovely hanging out with everybody. And I will see you all around in the game, on my comment section, in my videos. We'll, uh, we'll be seeing you. Okay, take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye.